Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another plan with me for the week of May the 23rd to the, through the 29th, 2022. So let's get right into this. I'm going to start off with the one that I did the least in and that is the Day Designer Home Edit Planner and this I am utilizing for my family planner. And as you all know, I've mentioned before, it doesn't start until July. So the only thing I did different from last week was pretty much just color code um, what was going on with who. And I am really excited about doing like the color coding and hopefully I'll be able to keep up with that. Um, so this is the day designer. The next one we'll take a look at is the Hobonichi. And this one I am utilizing for, um, it's like a, <clears throat> like a memory journal, I would say. And so far it's been working good. Um, this is the week that just passed. And, and um, I think this is going to cut me in handy the days that I don't get a chance to go like right into my journal for whatever reason, whether, you know, time doesn't permit because me putting a couple of sentences down about what happened that day will help me remember. So when I go back to my journal, this is the layout for this week. And I wanted to use stickers that I don't get to use often. And so I thought these were all fun, like date night, mascara, out to lunch, best babes. And this one says, I believe in lipstick. And I forgot where I got these from. I want to say I got these from Sephora. And it's like, I think I have like four or five sheets. And I just haven't really been using them. So I wanted to use them. And this one just says call and a cute little phone. So I'm really excited about this. I think when um, I log this week, I'll throw in some different things than I did here. So here I did like the weekly highlights, weekly meals, and small wins. I think I'll still do the weekly meals because even though I didn't get a chance to do all of them, it's something that I can think about. Um, for this week and putting them down so that's the layout for this week I've been enjoying like I told you all the last time utilizing this section for logging my work hours because for one it'll let me see how many days I worked in each month um, and and just how that varies but also the different positions in which I work because I highlight them differently and it's been super helpful because I had a couple of discrepancies with them, like my last two checks, and I was able to immediately go back to here and know the days that I worked and didn't work. So it was really helpful. Now, the next planner we're looking at is the Traveler's Notebook. And this is the one that I sort of went into as a daily planner. And so far, so good. I, I still love it. I love the flexibility with it. I love how it is less stressful. Earlier this week, I did a daily planning video with just utilizing one whole page as a daily. And I really enjoyed that. So for this week, um, Saturday and Sunday, I just split the days up um, because I worked. Saturday and Sunday so I knew I wasn't going to get much done so for going into this new week I also work Monday and Tuesday and that's why I did the days like this again because I know it's not like I'm going to be filling it with a lot of things so I did that but for the rest of the days I wanted to have like this under the sea theme and so I all of the stickers for the coming days are centered around under the sea. So this, this is Monday, Tuesday. This is going to be for Wednesday. Um, the only reason why I didn't add it because I was debating if I wanted to use my stampers or not. Um, so this is going to be for Wednesday. And I just like the cute mermaid theme. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
and I just like how it all flows together. Um, this is so cute to me, and it's something that I kind of shocked myself with because these stickers came out of a sticker pack, and when I looked at it and saw these stickers in my head, I was like, I know I'm not going to really use those, but I ended up using them, and I like them. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I really, it's hard for me to tell which one I like the most, but I think it's the, I don't know. I like them both. Um, but I just like how cute it looks. It looks fun. I can't wait to see how it's going to look once, you know, after the pan, so to speak. So, really excited about this. And then, who knows, like, next week I may decide to do something different. You know, the week after that, the week after this one, I may decide to do something different, whether it's go back to just, um, like, labeling stuff like this, like, doing it in list form. I don't know. I just know that I'm having fun with the flexibility of it. And lastly is my mental health and wellness journal planner. <laughs> um, and... This is um, the week that just passed. I really like how it turned out. Um, and this is for this week. And again, I like the colors. It just looks nice and fun. Um, this is Good Vibes right here. And it's just super cute. And this sticker pack was from Agenda 52. Again, nice, cute, um, simple. I love the washi tape that I put down here. Make today and then make today happy. This is just a really cute layout. And again, I've been keeping up with my mood tracker. That is something I'm proud of. Now, the, the next month is June. And, and I realized that I will run out of... I, <clears throat> I have enough for June, but then when July comes, I'll have to get a new book. And so I was sitting here thinking, like, I won't even get to use these pages. Um, but the new book will be just like this, so I'll still have space for it. And yeah, um, out of all of them, I would say this one is my absolute favorite. I just like the colors and the music thing with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.